Okay, okay. Can you hear me now? So, sorry, my mic was on mute. Can you just imagine? Ah, so now you can hear me. I'm sure that now you can hear me. So let me know if you can hear me now. <laughs> yes, I can. All right. Thank you very much for letting me. Do. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. Great, great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Where are you joining from? Where are you joining from? Can we know where you're joining from? Can we know where you're joining from? All right, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I am so excited to have you. For those who don't know me, my name is Ape Omede, and uh, I'm going to be your host alongside with um, all the team members. So some of the team members at Life Excel Resource Center, we're all going to be your host, and we we are assuring you that it's going to be a glorious time. Thank you very much, Abundance, for letting me know you can hear me. Um, so we're going to, to make sure you, that you have a very beautiful time this weekend. We have prepared, we have prayed, we have planned, and we are bringing the best of the best to speak to us this weekend. And so I am very, very optimistic. I am convinced in my heart and in my spirit that it's going to be a glorious time. It's going to be a wonderful time. You are going to have an encounter with the spirit of excellence that will move you to a new dimension of your life and your destiny, especially as you head into um, 2023. So um, I want to bring on Juliet. Juliet, are you ready? Um, I can't see you. I can see your camera on. So, but if your camera is on, I'd like to bring you up so we can kick up the conversation before Dr. Sam Ikundayo joins us. Hi, Juliet, can you hear me? Okay, so um, I think probably uh, Juliet, I can't I can't hear you. So um, I'll just wait for you to get you know get sorted, and then um, I probably will will have you on. So while we wait for um, Juliet, I'd like to um, open up officially with um, a quick short word of prayer. So if um, you don't mind, I would like to um, invite you to join me in the prayers. So let's pray. Father, we thank you and we bless you for um, this beautiful um, evening, afternoon, morning, wherever it is that everyone is joining at this particular moment. We give you the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the worship. We thank you because you've been preparing us for this time to be a blessing unto us. And so we ask that for everyone who will be part of this conversation today, tomorrow, for the two sessions tomorrow, Lord, we pray that you will be a blessing unto them, that you will inspire their hearts, inspire their spirit, encourage them to be the best that you've created them to be, because that is the essence and the purpose of this conversation. We give you all the praise as we even commit the speakers throughout the session into your hands. We pray you put the right word and the right um, inspiration into their heart that they might share with us in this season. Thank you for answering our prayers. We we'll pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Thank you for joining me in that prayer. Um, so again, welcome to the first session of Indigenous Excellence Conference 2022. Um, tonight, we're going to be having the purpose preacher. You don't want to miss Dr. Sami Kundaya. In fact, you don't want to miss any of the speakers. I can guarantee you that I can assure you that, that there is none of the speakers that you want to miss. And tonight we're kicking it off with a man that is properly called uh, the Purpose Preacher. We're going to introduce him officially when the time comes. 
So now if you're joining on YouTube, I want you to help me to share this video right now with your friends, with your family members. Everybody you know that will benefit from this conference. I wanted to share it with them right now because it's going to be a blessing to them. So if you're on YouTube, on Life Excel TV, or on Dr. Ape Omede's channel, wherever it is that you're watching, I want you to share the video, share the session with somebody uh, um, right now, and make sure that they you know, join in this feast. If you're on Facebook, on my page, on my personal page, on my personal profile, on Life Excel page, on Success Convert page, on Intentional Excellence page, you can find the video streaming at the moment. So I want to also ask you to go on and share the video, share the live stream. I, I will be very much encouraged and um, happy if you can do that for us um, right now. So if you're watching at any of those channels or platforms, I wanted to just go on and share um, the video, okay? I wanted to go on and share the video with everyone. Sorry. I wanted to share, I'll give you just a few seconds to share that with everybody that you know. Okay, we are live on Facebook. We're live on YouTube. Or you can search for Life Excel TV on YouTube and Life Excel Resource Center on Facebook. Uh, and you can see everything that is happening at the moment. Okay, so thank you very much for helping to share a video i can see the number of viewers increasing thank you very much if you've not done that please um go ahead and and do that right now if you've not done that go ahead and do that right now okay so welcome one more time for many of us who might be joining for the first time you might be asking what is life excel so i'm going to run you through what life excel is Okay, many of us might be coming for the first time or getting to know about Life Excel and International Excellence Conference and Success Conference and all that for the first time. We may not have heard about all that. And so it's good that we let you know where you are, the community that is putting up this. So um, Life Excel is a faith based, non denominational, um, youth led um, organization that is created to inspire people to live the life of excellence through the instrumentality of the word of god in life excel we believe that everyone was born with a seed of excellence and when you come into contact with the divine when you come into contact with god when you have an encounter with god something happens to that seed of excellence in you that makes it to become more visible to people around you such that the works that you do the actions that you take the things that you get yourself involved in become a representation of who god had god had created you to be so that whatever you do will manifest the glory of God. But a lot of people who have had an encounter with the divine do not know that there is the possibility of excelling. They feel that excellence is for a special kind of, uh, of people. And especially because we grow up in an environment or we find ourselves in an in environment where the idea of excellence is only associated with when somebody comes first in the class. And that is just one example and one angle to it, because 
I can go back to school, listen to whatever the teacher is saying, cram them up, and pour it back to the teacher, just like many of us did when we were in school. And then we come out best in the school, in, in, you know, in the class or top or in the class. And then when it comes to real life, it, real, real life. Um, situations where we need to now showcase and exhibit the true picture of excellence, then we begin to lag behind. Because there is an understanding about excellence that is beyond, you know, cramming everything that it's just said in the class and pouring it back. To us in Life Excel, excellence is about showcasing your best, doing your best so that through your best you will inspire others to be their best we want to be an example of what it means to be an excellent person and through the example of our life other people can be inspired so that when they see that you're excelling then they will be they will be encouraged to know that excellence is possible and that is what we do in life excel we have created a platform where people come and get their life transformed. We've seen people who never knew, you know, that they were going to be uh, a people of excellence, but have seen their life transformed through the things we share all the time on our platform. So that is what we do basically in Live Excel. We use several platforms to do that, and one of them is Success Convert which is our signature program where we bring, you know, people also to share with us the secrets, the myths, the ideas, the steps, the strategies, experiences and expertise on how they can excel um, in, or, or on how we all can excel in our individual lives. So I, if, if you've not been part of us, uh, then I, I will encourage you to, you know, find a way to be part of what we're doing. And I'm, I, I can assure that it's going to be a tremendous blessing um, to you. So in, in Live Excel, we have, you know, core uh, values, core values or things that guide our thoughts, our ideas, the way we see ourselves and the way we, you know, approach life. And I want to share them quickly with you. The first one is that we, 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 we value personal leadership. We believe that for you to be able to lead others, you must lead yourself first. That is very, very important. Second thing that we value so much is personal development because we believe that you cannot give to others what you do not have. So you must have a way of working on yourself every day to improve on yourself, your gifts, your skills and talents so that you can you know, give to others what you already have for yourself. We believe in purpose-driven life. So we don't, we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by others, you know, uh, but we focus on our God given unique assignment. We believe that everybody on earth has a unique assignment and we focus on accomplishing that. We are passionate about success, right? So, and so we, we believe that we cannot achieve or have success until we love, appreciate, and work hard towards it, making all the sacrifices that is needed. We are positive about life, so that no matter what happens to us, we choose to be happy, we choose to be joyful, because our reaction to what happens to us is what matters. We believe in being a productive mind, being productive minded. You can only earn respect for yourself or honor from yourself, from, from, I mean, respect and honor from others when you have resort to show for the life that you're living and lastly we believe in personal prosperity we believe that we'll have all that god has ha, has in mind for us that we will have and be the best that god has in mind for us in this lifetime and in the life to come so it's it, it for us it's very very important that the idea of excellence starts now it's not something that is going to happen later on we believe right now right here we're going to experience the excellence we're going to enjoy it you know and and gain all the benefits of living an excellent life 
So that is basically um, a, a glimpse of, of, of what we do, or what is our core value in, in, in Life Excel. So um, I, I want to encourage you to find a way to be part of what we're doing. You can find us on Facebook. We have a Facebook group that you can join, which um, is going to be on the screen shortly. Um, and then you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is where you're joining from at the moment, I guess, for some of us and probably some of us from the Facebook group as well. And uh, we will, you know, walk the, this work with you, journey with you and help you and inspire to be the person that you are created um, to be. So um, uh, throughout this year, we've been working on all-round excellence. So our team for this year has been all-round excellence. So we've been doing our best to make sure that every aspect of our life receives a touch of excellence. So there's, I mean, we've like literally discussed all the core aspects of an individual's life and trying to highlight how we can excel in them. We've talked about relationship, we've talked about business, we've talked about finances, we've talked about vision, wisdom, career, um, you know, what else? So we, we, we tried throughout this year, for every month of the year, we have had something vision to talk about and trying to, you know, trigger um, some level of excellence, the dimension of excellence in different areas of our lives. And now we're coming to the end of the year. What we want to do with this conference is to position ourselves to begin to manifest excellence in those areas that we have discussed this year in 2023. So what is the vision of this conference? The vision is to reposition you to live a life of excellence in 2023. We believe that there are going to be opportunities for excellence. We believe that there are going to be opportunities to manifest. We're going, there, are, there are going to be opportunities to exhibit the gifts and the talents and the potentials that God has given to you. And the way you showcase them, the way you manifest them, the way you express them will go a long way to determine the degree of value that the people you're going to express it towards will receive. And so to be able to, to deliver value, to be able to deliver um, uh, impact in a way that people will be blessed, we require you to do it in a dimension of excellence. But that cannot be possible unless you reposition yourself to be an excellent person. So in you know, as much as throughout the year, we've talked about all around excellence, talked about excellence in different areas of our lives. We still believe that there is still room for excellence. There is still room for excellence. There is still room for excellence. And so we want to put ourselves in both mental, spiritual, and physical position where excellence will not elude us in 2023. I cannot, I cannot look, I cannot imagine a 2023 that I don't a, 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 a manifest excellence. I cannot, you know, imagine that. All right. So that's what I want to um, encourage you to come and enjoy with us. You know, and encourage you to come and be part of, so that by the time we move into a coming year, you know that you have gotten some insights, some concepts, some ideas that will help you to be the person that God wants you to be. Dr. Sam, I can see you. <laughs> Your mic is... Oh, me. hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> it's great to be here. It's a joy to be here. Thanks. Thanks for this. God bless you, sir. Thank Amen. you so, so very much. Praise God. For Praise God. this great honor. Thank you so, so very much for this great privilege. I cannot, I cannot thank you enough. It's an honor to me and to everyone in Life Excel to be able to have you share with us 
today. So we are really, really grateful to have you. <laughs> Praise God. So it's a joy to be here. I'm looking forward to what God will use you to share um, and be a blessing to us um, this very day and this very session. So before you came on, I was just yes, trying sir. to give a background to the reason why we're doing the Intentional mm. Excellence Conference with the team, um, Repositioning for Excellence. So uh, just reiterate that and then um, I'll introduce you and then we'll just... Okay, take it from no there. problem, no problem. So yeah, like I was just trying to share with us that throughout this year, we've been talking about all-round excellence. Talked about excellence in vision, in relationship, in finance, in career, in business, in wisdom, uh, and all that. We've talked about excellence in all these areas. But there is going to be a greater opportunity in 2023 to still excel. And so the, the, the goal is to prepare you to excel even beyond your imagination in 2023, right? So we're going to have a repositioning that is going to happen in our mindset, in our spiritual life, in our physical um, disposition as well that will help us to be the best that God has created us to be. And so that is what Dr. Sam, Dr. Mike, and Richard Aku will be sharing with us throughout this weekend. And you don't want to miss any of the session. I can guarantee you that it is going to worth every second that you're going to spend on this conference. So I want to thank you one more time for joining. And I want to ask you again, if you've not shared the link, you can go ahead and share that and we will take it from there. So Dr. Sam, one more time, thank you very much for joining us. And we're really, really grateful um, uh, that you're able to join us um, uh, to share with us from the wealth of wisdom and expertise that God has um, given to you. Um, so uh, can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Loud and clear. Can you hear me oh, too? Okay. Yeah. So it, it it looks as if the video is uh, is um, static here, but on the streams it is working properly. So I okay. want to believe that all is good. <laughs> I, yeah, I be, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On the stream is working, but on 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 my screen here. It's like it's static, but oh. <laughs> since it's working on the screen, uh, on okay, the, on the okay, screen, okay. That's, that's cool. All right, it's it's it looks okay from here. Yes. So, how are you, sir? How is how is how has it been? Very good, sir. Very good. I'm very excited to be here. Very happy to be here. We thank God. We're uh, preparing for the close of the year and for the start of the new year. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a it's a very exciting few weeks to go uh, in this year, and I'm grateful for this topic that we're talking about because it helps to um, remind us of who we are. Mm -hmm. Because it's um, excellence is a, is our identity, excellence is our calling. Yeah, and uh, I know some people will be like, "What is my identity?" <laughs> you know, uh, it's your identity, is your calling, and we're going to be uh, looking at some of these um, things today. And it's a reminder for us. It's a reminder for us so that we know how to how to continue to live uh, going forward. Great, great. So for those who don't know Dr. Sam Ekundaye, I'll just play an intro just a glimpse of who Dr. Sam McIndale is, and then I'll hand over to him, all right? So let's go. Dr. Samuel Ekundeo is a senior lecturer, author, life coach, preacher, and transformational speaker based in Auckland, New Zealand. Often referred to as the purpose preacher, his mandate is to help people discover their purpose, so that they can maximize their potentials towards a fulfilled, influential, and impactful life to the glory of God. He is a certified speaker, coach, teacher and trainer with the prestigious John Maxwell team having successfully completed the certification program. He is proficient and adept at providing training and coaching to individuals, churches and corporate organizations with proven, tested and effective programs and resources. As an internationally sought-after speaker, he has been privileged to consult for corporate organizations, as well as speak on various platforms including churches, independently organized conferences, and events all over the world. In 2019, he gave a TEDx talk on purpose, 
the ultimate cure to suicide, an inspirational talk that has changed lives and helped many discover their life's purpose. He is the president and founder of School of Purpose and Influence, SPIN, an institution with a vision to raise men and women for transgenerational influence and impact worldwide. He is also the founder of Motivitality, a weekly motivational video series on social media with the vision of helping men and women find their purpose and maximize their potentials, reaching thousands of people weekly with over 300,000 views and counting. He is also the convener of Transgenerational Influence Conference, a conference that gathers thousands of people yearly for unforgettable encounters leading them from mystery to mastery of their lives and purpose for kingdom influence. He has authored six books including Arise and Succeed, Becoming the Champion You Are, Fired Up, The Ultimate Guide to Focus and Consistency in Every Endeavor, 30 Reasons to Stay, Say No to Suicide and Give Life Another Try, the world needs you, life-changing secrets to becoming a person of value, purpose in crisis, uncommon secrets to finding and fulfilling purpose in times of adversity and, your problem is that you are multi-talented, proven and effective strategies to maximizing, your gifts and potentials as a multipotentialite, all of which can be found in major bookstores online. He is married to a woman he calls his treasure blessing Ekendeo, and they are blessed with two boys, to the glory of God. Yes, <laughs> so that's 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 a loaded a loaded a loaded cv glory I'm to god really 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 thankful to god for what he's doing in your life um i encountered you a little bit closely last year and i can tell you that it was a transformational encounter for me um, it, it helped me to move forward in what we are doing and what God has called us to do. And I'm really, really grateful for that opportunity and grateful to God that you allowed God to do what he wants to do with your life. So, Dr. Sam, I want to welcome you especially um, and hand over to you. And ask that Thank you, sir. Whatever God has put in your heart today. Thank you, sir. I'd like to share my screen if it's okay. Yes, it's yes. okay. You All right. Yeah. Let me let me let me go ahead and share screen. And audience on this audience window. Um. So is is there anything I need to do for that? Yeah. Awesome. All right. All right. Thank you very much, sir, for this great opportunity and privilege to be at the International Excellence Conference. Uh, by the grace of God, I see this as a conference that is uh, going on. Um, annually to bless lives, impact lives all over the world. Um, while this may look like the days of little beginning and it's like, okay, uh, it's may maybe just for people at Live Excel, um, there is so much more to it that I feel like by the grace of God, God is going to use you to mentor thousands, hundreds of thousands of people um, on how to live an excellent life. In other words, to align themselves with, the, with that identity and that calling to be excellent in life and to do great things as a result. I feel that that is what God is set to do. And these are the days of God, uh, um, you know, just expressing himself through you, um, you know, in ways that, okay, his grace will just continue to multiply and you just continue to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. And the International Excellence Conference will grow bigger and bigger in Jesus' name. You will not diminish the grace of God will continue to multiply over your life. You and your family, you and your wife, because I know by the grace of God that you're doing this together. And so shall it be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Awesome. You're welcome, sir. All right, let's take it away. We're talking about purpose and excellence or the purpose of excellence. Okay. And I feel very strongly that this is a very topic. This is a topic that is very close to my heart because um, it is one thing to find your purpose, all right? Um, it is another thing to be intentional about being excellent, all right? Listen to this, about being excellent in what God has called you to do, 
okay, uh, about being excellent in how you impact lives, about being excellent in areas of influence, about being excellent um, as part of your nature, as part of your habit, as part of your life, all right? And these are some of the things we're going to talk about today, all right? Um, uh, if you're there and you're listening to me and you can hear you can hear us loud and clear, I want you to put in the comments now and say loud and clear. Say loud and clear in the comments. If you can hear loud and clear, if you can hear me, Put in the comments, say loud and clear. Whether you're watching on Facebook or you're watching on YouTube, I want you to put it there. Say loud and clear. If you, and if you're ready as well, say, I am ready for this. Say, I'm ready for this. All right. Praise God. Okay. I just would um, like to share a very good story uh, with you all. Um, a, a few years ago, I I got an in, uh, uh, a promotion at work. And my boss um, wrote me you know, a promotion letter. And in that letter, the content of the letter uh, was very interesting. Uh, and there's a sentence in it that has stayed with me to, you know, till today that, I'm, uh, and that I want to share with you to open this up. And um, the very first statement, uh, the, the, one of the statements in there said, uh, we are giving you this position because you are already doing the role. <laughs> all right so you might as well continue something like that okay you might as well just continue doing what you are doing so the title is just matching what you have already been doing we see that you're excellent you are doing well all right so this promotion is not necessarily just a confirmment of you know um title but to let you know that we see that you're already performing the role you're already doing excellently well this is just a, you know just just a title all right just continue to do what you are doing so listen to this promotion do, does not come in life all right because people are expecting you to step up you don't you don't get promoted because there is an expectation for you to step up no 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 you get promoted because you have already stepped up <laughs> <laughs> you have already stepped up. You have already assumed the role. And then whatever title and uh, position is just to commemorate slash, uh, uh, you know, just to confirm, all right, what you have already stepped into. This is what is keeping many people at the same level for me. And guess what? It's also This also is also very relevant in the kingdom of God. Yes, God does not just promote people for them to step up. Mm -mm -mm. You, you would have stepped up by yourself. You would have chosen that you are tired of the old position and you now start performing excellently. And then God will say, okay, it is high time we confer a title upon this 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 guy you know let's you know i i i want to give so many examples but i i, I want to go into my slides but let me let me just give one example all right the bible talks about a, a man called joseph all right mm -hmm. joseph first of all in his father's house he was different from his brothers you know people will probably say oh maybe because it was his father's favorite no 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 you know how we say <laughs> in organizations we say in organizations that it's politics now it's because the boss likes him that's why they keep promoting him excuse me i know there is that aspect but when you look at a righteous you know organization or a righteous leader it's not about favoritism it is about someone who is always showing their excellence who is always demonstrating excellence who is always there who is always doing the work that's the person that gets promoted that's the person that gets favored not someone who's handsome someone who talks a lot mm -mm 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 -mm. pay attention to righteous organizations and you will see that the principle is the same if you are looking for a promotion in this room or right, anybody in this room looking for a promotion if you're looking for a promotion or maybe you are trusting go for the next level the most important thing you must have at the back of your mind is that level you are trusting god for what mm -hmm. are you supposed to be doing at that level yes. can you start doing it now wow before because some people you are you're waiting for the letter to come for so uh you know let them let them, i mean i cannot just be doing the work without you know without 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 <laughs> <laughs> without the official <laughs> confirmation uh excuse me you are delaying your own promotion Wow. Excellence has to be in motion for titles and position to catch up. Wow. Let me say that again slowly. Come again, sir. <laughs> Excellence always has to be in position. Always has to be at work first. 
before titles and position will catch up. You have to, first of all, put excellence. It has to be a lifestyle. You are not forcing it because you are waiting for a promotion. No, 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 no. You are doing it. It has already become a part of you. You are now consistent in it. Now, promotion and titles will now catch up. Wow. CS thou a man. CS wow. thou a man. Not CS thou a man that has already stood before king and then the man will now start being diligent in his work. <laughs> Yes, thou a man, uh -huh. you know, diligent in his work. You see, mm -hmm. you see the horse before the cart. Yes, diligent in his work. Uh -huh. It is now that man, that man, that very man, uh -huh, who will now be the one that will now stand before kings. Wow, we have a lot to talk about. Let's jump. <laughs> let's jump into it today. Praise God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Excellence is not hereditary. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That, that's the first statement I want to mention to you. Somebody say amen. If you get it, say amen. <laughs> because some people will think, ah, you know, in my family, look <laughs> Sam, in my family. Ah, we are not always that excellent. Oh, see, my mother, my father, my or even my uncles and my aunts, all of them together. Oh, yes. You know, <laughs> that's the excuse of many people. Look. So they have discounted themselves. They have removed themselves from anything excellent. Excellence is not hereditary. You are not born with it. Let us, let, can, I, can I shock you? <laughs> <laughs> you are not born with it. You were not born with it. You have to cultivate it. Every single person that, is, that you know right now that is excellent at what they do, excellent in their life, they had to cultivate it. You know how people often argue whether greatness, uh, 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 whether we are whether we are born with greatness <laughs> or we or. or or, um, or whether we are born with greatness or, or we cultivate greatness or something like that. There's this, there's this whole uh, uh, controversy, you know, uh, in the world today. But the truth is this. Nobody was born great. If you are born great, it is just an identity. Mm. All right. But I always say there is always a major gap between what you are born as and how you, what you become. A massive gap. There is a gap between, a gulf between who you are created to be and becoming that person it is your job so even though you were you know created to be excellent it is your job to become excellent it is your job to become excellent. It is your job it is your responsibility for you to become excellent if you are not excellent it is not god's fault <laughs> jesus christ of <laughs> You know, it is your responsibility. So it's not God's fault. He has already conferred it upon you. You are born with it, but you must become it. And we're going to talk about some of those today. So the dictionary meaning of excellence is a quality of being excellent, which meant, you know, which means that there is, you know, the root word of excellence is excellent. And then inside of excellent, there's another root word, which is excel. All right. And that means to be exceptionally good at hmm. something or proficient in an activity or subject, or to be eminently good or superior or first class. Hey, let me repeat that definition because um, it is one thing to, to read definitions, another thing to meditate on it. So, and I want you to sink deep because I want you to, to I want you to have it at the back of your mind as you go on in this in this discussion. It says excellence is a quality of being excellent. Okay, there's a root word of excellent and excellence, and then from the root word excel, which means wow. to be exceptionally good at something, to be proficient in an activity or subject. All right, to be eminently good. In other words, shoulder high, <laughs> to be superior. So, I have a question for you. What are you undeniably good at? <laughs> In other words, if there is nothing that you are undeniably good at, my brother, my sister, can I tell you the truth? You are not excellent. Oh, my God. Hard truth. <laughs> it's the hard truth. 
This so is I, a hard, I'm grateful a to God thing. that this is coming just before a new year. Sure. Because when things like this come before a new year, it is God reminding us that there is work to do towards the new year. Somebody said there is work to do. There, there, is, work to there do. is work to do. There is there work is, to do. There is work to yes. do. Yes, and you're going to see the rudiments, the blueprints of that work that you must do so that you can begin to do the work now. You know, I was, I was speaking to some of my students, it was it a, a few days ago, and I was telling them, I, I was saying, you know, that they have work to do in, in next year. Ah, one of them said, no, 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 Dr. Sam, not next year. I'm starting now. <laughs> <laughs> I like that attitude. He said, not next year. I'm starting right now. I'm not waiting to start next year. I'm starting now. And maybe you have the same mindset as well. And you're saying, mm -mm, Dr. Sam, yes, yes, please give me that blueprint. I want to start now. I'm not waiting to start in 2023. May God help us in the name of Jesus. So what are you mm -hmm. undeniably good at? I feel like Christians, can I talk to Christians for a minute? I feel like children of God, we are some of the people that celebrate mediocrity. You know, we celebrate mediocrity. Yeah. We, we, it's like we, we dance and flirt with mediocrity. We, mm. we <laughs> the, the church has, has, has for, for too long, you know, flirted with mediocrity a lot. So our people have not learned how to be excellent. Yes. And I'm begging you today, yes. 2023, we must change. In fact, starting from right now, we must change. We mm -hmm. must have the mindset of excellence. Yes. The mindset of excellence. And please, excellence is not perfection, no. Mm -mm. It's not perfection. Mm -hmm. Because the way, the, the way I'm talking, some of us probably, have, we have started discounting ourselves. Ah, brother, bro, bro, no man is perfect. How can I be perfect? You know, <laughs> you know, there's some people, whenever they are making a discussion like this, you've, you've just been removing yourself from the whole thing. <laughs> and, no, that's not me. That's not me. No, we are talking about you. We are talking about you. Talking about me. We are talking about me too. Amen. Thank you, sir. Excellence is not perfection. What is excellence? Excellence is you working towards, striving towards, being the best that you were created to be. Remember I told you there is a gap between who you are now and who you were created to be. Exactly. Yep. So mm -hmm. excellence is the progress towards becoming who you were created to be. You must be making that journey consciously and intentionally to become. And that's why you see the every time in the scriptures or any time, you know, people will say, to be, you are becoming this. You are becoming this. We are on a continuous journey of becoming. Somebody have me type it and say, I'm on, I'm on a continuous journey of becoming. Yes, you are on a continuous journey of becoming. If you are not on a continuous journey of becoming, you are devoiding and denying yourself of excellence. You must be on a continuous journey of becoming. In other words, an excellent individual is someone who is undeniably good. <laughs> someone who is in a class of their own. You must... Yeah, you must <laughs> people must mention your name. Hmm. And they must, they must mention an area of life that you are good. That you are undeniably good. Excuse me. Can I also puncture some 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 balloons here? Go ahead, sir. The, this is the root ahead. cause of poverty, sir. The, somebody is watching me right now. The reason why some people are poor is because there is nothing that they are undeniably good at. Oh my God. I, I, oh and you, you will see them be making a pity about it. You know, uh, no, there's nobody to help me. Nobody to, you know, any, nobody even believe in me. <laughs> it's because you are not excellent. Oh my God. And can I also shock you? Excellence is not what you show on the outside for people to believe in you. Excellence, listen to this. Excellence is doing something wonderfully well in public. That you have always done wonderfully well in private. Hmm. Come again, sir. Excellence is doing something wonderfully well in public. That you have always done consistently and wonderfully well in private. That's excellence. So for that person saying, yeah, but that, nobody believes in me. Nobody, you know, nobody is sponsoring me. Nobody is. What are you doing that thing excellently well in private? Oh my God. You know, some of these footballers that were watching at the World Cup today, 
You know the thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours that they put in into practice before they even get selected? I'm not talking about the selection for the World Cup. I'm even talking about the selection for their clubs and this, get, to even get to that place where they can be selected. When no one was applauding them, when no one was watching them, when no one was paying attention, when nobody knew their name, do you know the thousands and thousands and thousands of hours? I happen to be a little bit connected to this, this young man, Israel Adesoya. You know, the UFC middleweight uh, champion, you know, <laughs> uh, uh, that was recently displaced. You know, do you know for many years, many years, he had had this conviction that he was a great fighter. But I his parents him. did not support him. Yeah, his parents did not support him at the beginning. Mm -hmm. His parents were like, no, 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 nah, there's nobody in our family that is doing this. I mean, yeah, how can you be going into a sport where they are beating people? Is there no other better sport? You know, all this argument. His father wanted him to be an accountant. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. You know, like be a normal person. <laughs> you know, be a normal person. You know, but the boy loved it. He would take his own money, his own money, or his own head and money, you know, you know. And and sponsor himself to, to China to go and fight some major tournament that he was not even shown on TV. Are you serious? <laughs> no, not so, major tournament, minor tournament. Yeah, minor. The, the Chinese tournaments he went for were all on his own. Yes, sir. All on his own. All on his own. No sponsors, nothing. He paid this his own money in the own way to go there. Yes, yes. He will be fighting them. He, he, yes, he was beating them and all of that. But he had to be doing that. He had to, at least, the good news is those ones were recorded. <laughs> so he had something that he could show, you know. But he, it was his money. And then there was this king of the ring or king in the ring that he had to put his own money to enter. It is when you win that you even get anything back. <laughs> if you don't win, you go home and you, yeah. with your wound. And your, you know, there's no contract. <laughs> the, yes. But what happens to many of us? Ah, some, Somebody will be saying, hey... Hopefully, if I wish somebody can just sponsor me now. You've been wishing for somebody to sponsor you when you were since you were 22. Now you are 42. You are still waiting for sponsor oh God, <laughs> sponsorship. Oh oh <laughs> Who sponsored David to, to go to Goliath? Hmm. Who sponsored him and say, hey, you know, this David, I I'm going to sponsor you. Go and kill Goliath now. No. You have to first of all sponsor yourself to kill the lion and the bear. You first of all sponsor yourself to, to, to look at your father's sheep. You first of all, you have to first of all, remember, excellence is doing something wonderfully well in public that you have always done wonderfully well and consistently in private. Privately. That's excellence. It's not perfection. So again, this question, I feel like asking you to your face. I, if we're like in a room, I'll be holding your head like this and I'll be looking at you eyeball to eyeball and I'll be asking you this question. What are you undeniably good at? Oh my God. And if, if you don't have an answer right now, I'm going to ask another question. What will you be <laughs> undeniably good at? Undeniably that nobody can deny. They will not say, hey, because it's a Christian, Mm. So let us not give it to him. Ah, you know, you know, in, ah, you, you know, some people in church <laughs> they say, hey, because I'm a Christian, that's why. No, it's not because you are a Christian, it's because you are not excellent. Nobody denies excellence. Wow. Nobody denies excellence. I need somebody to help me write it down. Write it in your notes. Put it on, in the comments. Nobody denies except You cannot deny it. That's what, we, that's what I mean by undeniably good. What have you invested in that you are now so undeniably good that, that you cannot be ignored? The problem with the church is we are easily ignored. We are easily ignored. And I dare say that it is, it is, it is, it is a stain on God's dignity. Yes. They are easily ignored. Yes. In your career, you are easily ignored. Easily pushed aside. In, in, in your in your in your in your marriage, you, oh you, you, there's, no, there's no effort. You're not put, there's nothing that you are undeniably good at. It's like war unto him that is just easily pushed aside in every area of life. There's this, oh there's this, there's this thing about Daniel. The Bible says he was preferred. Ah, Daniel was preferred above others. Because an excellent spirit was found in him. He was undeniably good, so he was preferred. Excuse me. He was not preferred because he was a Jewish boy. 
No. It was not preferred because it was tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> you know, let me use ladies' language. You know, it was not preferred because he was beautiful and he had a hourglass, an uh, 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 um, uh, uh, hourglass uh, image of a uh, feature. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Because an excellent spirit was found in him. Listen, you may dress, you can dress well from now to tomorrow. But are you undeniably good at something? Hmm. Because if you're undeniably good at something, even if you cannot afford to dress well, to dress good or to dress expensive, people will still pay attention to you. I want to beg you, if you're listening to me right now, please never let your name be associated with mediocrity. This is one of my core values in life. Anything that I cannot be there and give my 100%, I will not be there. Ask my assistant. She will tell you, if I'm not going to put my 100% there, I won't be there. Hmm. I, 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 I hate that my name, I, hate, I know hate is a strong word, though, <laughs> but I'm using it. I hate for my name to be mentioned in... In, in, in some in, in in you know in something that's ah, of mediocrity i hate it i don't like it at all you two you are listening to me if you want to cultivate excellence you must hate you must hate mediocrity i talk about you know how the bible talks about how god you know how god loves righteousness and hates iniquity you too you must love excellence i you must hate mediocrity <laughs> Like Daniel, you must allow me mediocrity to, to never be mentioned around you. Never be mentioned around you. you don't say, eh, eh, in my career, I'm excellent, you see, but eh, when it comes to, you know, mm -mm, everything you associated with, give your all, give your best. Yes. Excellence also means, simply put, let me, let's summarize all that we have said since morning and just round up this introduction. Excellence means there is something that edges you above others. Something that stands you out from others. I'm not talking about competition here. Yes. I'm not talking about... <laughs> because some people... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not talking about competition. I'm talking about you determining to be the best that you are created to be. And because of that, you stand out from the crowd. You stand out from the rest. Because, see, there are many people in life who are very comfortable with mediocrity. You cannot be one of them. Hmm. No. You, can, you cannot. You cannot. Your, your, your destiny is too precious to be a mediocre. Ah. This week, I put, I put uh, something on social media. I didn't plan to share it because I thought it would take time, but I feel like God wants me to share it now. You know, it was actually when I was preparing for this message, you know, that, that, that God gave me this. Uh, you know, and I put there seven signs that you, are, you have settled for mediocrity, for a mediocre life. Let me quickly share the seven signs with you. It will help somebody. And then I continue my slide. Number one, seven signs that you are settled into mediocrity, that you are now comfortable with mediocrity. And you, you may not even know it. So let me help you. Number one, you are now passive about life. Hmm. You just do what you have to do to survive. You know, say Dr. Sam. You know, you even hear people say, they say, I want another day, another dollar. <laughs> you know, you know those, those stupid expressions that is not biblical, that is not public, <laughs> but you have, you have joined them to be saying it. In, you know, they say, how are you? Say, and, you know, what are, what are we going to do now? Another day, another dollar. There's no more passion about life. Ah, oh my God. No, 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 no more zest, no more enthusiasm, no vision, no, no, no direction. Mm -hmm. It's just another day, another dollar. It's just it's like you're waking up to a mark time. What nonsense? Yes, that is that's mediocrity. If nobody has told you before, let me tell you the truth. Oh, Dr. Dr. Omidy did not bring me to come and uh, catch you <laughs> and to sweet talk you. No, 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 no. no, <laughs> if no, no you no. don't know, it's to wake you up, it's to it's to it's to hit your back backside so you can get up. All right, you cannot be passive about life. If you're if you're not making any sacrifices for a meaningful and impactful life, you 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 are you are living a mediocre life. Hmm. If you don't care about the extra and extraordinary, wow. 
and you have settled for the ordinary life. So, Doctor Sam, in my family, nobody is released and now, uh, you know, it's just a th- it's just a thing in my family. <laughs> it's that's wow. dangerous. So, number two, when you see others excel and do great things, and it makes you feel bad about yourself. Ah, you have settled for mediocrity. Hmm. Let me tell you how you are supposed to feel when others are doing better. When you see people doing great, like for instance, you see Dr. Omidik doing a conference, you know, he's, he's excelling, he's doing that. You know, you're supposed to feel great. Why? Because you see it as literally an expression of who you are supposed to do, uh, who yes. you are supposed to become, what you are supposed to do. Like you see, it's like you see a fellow, you know, comrade, a fellow, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, a uh, child of God doing great. That is a pointer to what you should be doing as well. Or, or, or even that you can do better you know that's why to the glory of god i love associating myself with wonderful people that's why i have an inner circle inner circle of wonderful people great people that when i see them doing great things it inspires me to do more if you're not inspired by great things and you're always feeling bad when you see somebody do great things my sister my brother can i tell you the truth you are settling for mediocrity oh my god there's no other way to say it when you find it hard to rejoice with other people who are doing great things because their greatness reminds you of your own mediocrity ah you are searching for mediocrity. Number three, when your focus is on the things you lack and never on the things you have, you feel like you have nothing to give. You are not valuable. Ah, you are searching for mediocrity. Excellence mm. is very far from you. <laughs> Sincerely, if you are always looking at, ah, they say, okay, who is going to volunteer at that conference? Ah, me, I don't have, I, I cannot speak. I cannot, your own is, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. That's mediocrity. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't. This is this is the root cause of poverty. Oh. The root cause of poverty is when you cannot recognize what you have to give as value. That's the root cause of poverty. It's the root oh cause God. of mediocrity. It's the root cause of being retrogressive in life. They say, "Come, come and do a PhD." Yeah, in my family, nobody. Else. You are always looking at something you lack. Come and travel. In my family, nobody has ever, they've never approved visa for it. Ah, like you, you, you have never, you don't have any, it's always about the negative, 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 negative. Somebody is listening to me right now. You are delivered in Jesus' name. I, <laughs> Amen. Uh, like, I'm so angry. <laughs> angry about this thing. I'm sharing, sharing with you. Like, you know, Dr. Mide, you know those people. You will tell them, you have to literally, but if there is free scholarship, they will still discount themselves. I know a lot of them. They will still discount, they will be the first person to, they have not even applied though, they've not been rejected though, but they have already rejected, so they will not even apply the first place. Yes, that's why, sorry sorry for cutting. Yes, sir. In, in, in Scholarship Mastery Academy, one of the yes, first sir. thing, one of the first model is the mindset of, the a, mindset. Scholarship, of a scholarship winner. Yes, sir. The, the mindset. mindset. It has to start with the mindset. Everything mm-hmm. starts with the mindset. Too. Let, let, don't, don't let anybody deceive you. Everything starts with the mind. If you want to be a millionaire, it starts with your mind. <laughs> if you want to be a, a, a great person, it starts with your mind. If you want to be a good husband, it starts with your mind. But because of time, let's move on. Okay. Yes. So some people have formed an, an identity around their, ins, around their insufficiencies and their weakness. They, they have made it their identity. It's a dangerous lifestyle. Number four, you are never willing to take risk because you always fear that you will fail or you will be criticized. Let, can, we, can I tell you the truth? If you are always feeling like that, you'll be a mediocre. You will die ordinary. Wow. That's, it's not, there's no other way to put it. Let's just be straightforward with ourselves. Okay? When you are too scared to do anything noteworthy or significant, you are too afraid to be significant. Ah! You, you, are, you, are, you are flirting with poverty. You are flirting with mediocrity. All right, number five, when you are always looking for sympathy and approval of others, ah, you, you know, like I said the, the other time, you're waiting for somebody to sponsor you first. When, and, and you have all the, ah, have you ever seen people who believe in themselves? They sponsor themselves first. They, they put in the work into themselves first. Let, let others catch up. To the glory of God, that is the story of my life. When God told us to start a school, I'm not waiting for anybody to come and put money together and say, okay, maybe we should start a scholarship fund before we start. Let's say um, the amount of money that people put in and then we'll not start after. For, for what? You have not even started anything. You have no track record. You have no CV. Oh and you do not want to do what? Did you oh not hear David God. when he got to the front of Goliath? He said, he said Goliath, listen, the same God that allowed me to kill the lion and the bear, he was talking oh about his track God. record. You must have a track record to face your Goliath. You must have a track record to do something great. 
Well, what is your track record? <laughs> ah, oh my goodness! As you, if you can't tell, I am I, I'm angry. It, this thing is so is so depressing. A mediocre mm -hmm. a mediocre life is a, is a depressing life. Yeah. Number six, you are no longer setting goals. Yeah, this new year is coming now for you. Go, you, are, you have never even mentioned goals in your in uh -huh. your in your vocabulary since the last, you know, since we uh -huh. touched December. You do goals is not it's like it's not even in your arena. Excellent people said goals, or if they've not told you, we said big goals. Go, uh, go and ask Dr. Midi, he will tell you. We said goals, big goals, audacious goals. Goals that naturally it looks like you cannot meet it. Yes, we set them. We set them. So, uh, Doctor Sam, uh, uh, goals not supposed to be realistic. Uh, <laughs> it will be it's realistic, but you first of all set the big audacious one first, and you now set realistic steps to meet to match it. To meet it. If you are that kind of person that you no longer set big goals, you are no longer moved by big goals, you are no longer inspired by big goals. Ah, you are flirting with mediocrity. And lastly. When you no longer, when you are no longer learning or committed to the future, you know there are some people yeah. like that. They are no longer learning, and they say, "Come and do this course." Mm, you not see them there. Uh, Life Excel is doing a course. Mm, you not see them there. This conference now they've advertised it. They mobilize, they mobilize it. They put the they way you will not see that. And ask them where they are. They are watching mm. World Cup. We <laughs> uh, will tell each other the truth. You will never see. You will never see them. Or they will say, "Ah, that course is too expensive." And let me go and look for a cheaper one. And they will never. They will never. They will not find a cheaper one. Let me shock some some people. It's not, it's not, not, there's, it's not. There's no cheaper one anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sir. No, there is even cheaper. And, and I'm going to. That's why I want to tell them the truth. <laughs> there are. There are always courses at any level you want to get to in life. Mm -hmm. So if you want, if you want your destiny to be free, continue to attend free courses. <laughs> wow. It's not my problem with some people is you have a you have a one terabyte destiny. Hmm. But you 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 cannot even you by yourself, you are you're only putting in one megabyte of work into the destiny. Please let us talk to each other. Do you think you can ever make it? Even you, you are not willing to invest in that one terabyte testing. You, you think you will get there? Let's not. I'm not cursing you. Mm -hmm. If you have that mindset, you are not getting there. If you are not investing in your future, you are not learning. This year, one of the things that I did, one of them, all right, I went, I went back to, I went to Harvard. I saw this course. Power and influence for positive impact. Yes, it was expensive, but I what? said, oh, yeah. I said we are going to do this thing. I want to learn, I want to learn the principles beyond even the Bible now. And I want to learn the principles to make positive impact. Thousands of dollars, eight weeks, intense. It was intensive. I'm not intensive that that eight weeks, and eh, it was even hard to have time for my children. You know, for those of you who know me, I'm very close to my children, very close to my wife. That those eight weeks, I was apologizing. Guys, you know that he's doing a course. That he's doing a course. That he's doing a course. Till I finished it too. I, and I finished it. And I got my certificate. Wow. This same year, to the glory of... This same 2023, I signed up for a $30,000 coaching. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, when I now... When I, I said the price it, of my coaching... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I said... The job has finished me. <laughs> And I said, my coaching is these thousands of dollars. Somebody will now be saying, hey, hey you're just taking people's money. Hey, no problem. Remember I told you, every greatness, every course you sign up for is, is, an, is a, an indication of the future you want for yourself. Oh, my God. Every, you always have things at your level. If you want to remain at the level of free, no problem. You're looking for free. If you also want to remain at the level of 1,000 naira, 1,000 dollars, no problem. You, you buy that level of course. That's the truth. Because you will never learn the secret of anything you have not bought into. If you want to learn the secret of Harvard, you go to Harvard. Yes. You don't just be reading it on Google. Hey, please, everybody Googles, but is everybody great? Because some people no. say, I'll Google it. Okay, Google it. <laughs> no. Google it, though. 
I'll see where you finish Google greatness too. <laughs> 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 that's the truth uh, Dr. Bidi I hope it's not getting too hot here. <laughs> ah, that's the, the fire is increasing <laughs> in Nigeria I would say there is a lot of bass bulls and, and I, came, I came here to give it to you because you cannot remain the same in 2023 no, not, at all. not at all not at all you know if nothing stands you out you are flirting with mediocrity no, no. So what is the purpose of excellence? Why is excellence so important? Wow. Why? Because God has called you unto excellence. Mm. Yes. Excellence is part of your calling. Excellence is your destiny. And that's why I put this scripture for you because I don't just want to put this statement there and mm. you say, Dr. Tan, what's the evidence? The evidence is this. He said, his divine power has granted to us all things. And I underlined it for you. Because I want you to know that God has given you all things. He has invested all things into you. All things that pertains to life and godliness. That's why you are not dead yet. Hmm. You're being alive. The time that you have right now is an investment of God in your life. I wish we had more time. Sir, we have to do a master class, a proper master class, where we have a few hours. Not all these, you know, 45 minutes, 30 minutes, not enough. Yeah. yeah. Through the I, knowledge I of him who has called us unto his glory and excellence. Your calling is unto excellence, not unto mediocrity. Hmm. So the purpose of excellence is that so that God can showcase his glory through you. Yes. So that you can be an expression of God's own excellence. Because people cannot see God, but they can see God through you. They can see God through you. God has called you to stand out. Hmm. There's a mandate on your life. Somebody said there's a mandate on my life. Put there it there. There's a mandate on my life. There is a to be undeniable good at something. Yes, it's a mandate. It's a mandate. If you are not fulfilling that mandate, you are ruining yourself. You have been given all. All. Just like that parable of talent. There was something given. For them to do something with. And it is now in your hands. Only those who stand out are known for something. I always use this example most places that I go. And I will not deny you. If you look at this puzzle very well. Look at this puzzle mm. very well. Yes, sir. There is an area. Each of these pieces is covered by something. And there are areas that are left unattended. Yes. Each piece of this is an area, especially the one that is, you know, allotted, that is taken, is an area where somebody has plugged themselves to be excellent. And as you can see, for each piece that finds its place, wow. the picture is getting better. Wow. The picture is getting clearer. This is our life. When you find your place and you're excellent, it's not like you're just finding your place rubbishly. Look at all these guys. No. When you hmm. find your true place and you're excellent, the picture gets perfect. The picture becomes beautiful. Wow. The world becomes a better place. Like you can see the picture. Hmm. Like the picture of, of, a, of, of a territory. Right? Of a kingdom. Yeah, just like our current world. When you position yourself in the right place and you're excellent in your place, the picture gets perfect because you become God's ambassador in that place. So once again, what are you good at? What are you undeniably good at? Your calling is not onto mediocrity and irrelevance. No. It is onto excellence, influence, and relevance. Some people are never relevant. There's, when, when we say relevance, there's nothing, there's nothing great that your name is associated with. Mm. There's nothing that you have put your entire life into that you, that, 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 ah, that you are known for. I love this scripture in Exodus chapter 9, verse 10. And I feel that is the 
wonderful, most wonderful definition of excellence. Remember, it's not perfection. Say, whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Let me ask you a big question towards 2023. Do you have something that you are doing with all your might? All. All. Or you are always average in everything. You know, there are some people, everything is average. Their marriage is average. Their uh, career is average. Their um, calling is average. Everything is average. There is not, there is not, the, some people who are listening to me right now, since 2023, 20, 20, 20, 2003, God has told you to write a book. You have not written anything. And now we are about to enter into 2023, 20 years later. You are still not written. <laughs> oh, so I just caught my camera. Sorry. Apologies. Let me check again. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm just going to check my camera. I think I must have something. <laughs> when I yeah, it's, it's, yes. it's back now. <laughs> you know, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about this topic. I know my time is up, so I have to stop now. You know, but I want I want to share seven keys. I will just rush through the seven keys. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know. Finish finish up whatever you want you have to share. Oh, please. praise God, sir. I know I know there may be another speaker behind me, or is there no speaker? Um, another speaker. No, there is no speaker me. today. Okay, is, today. Ah, praise you, God. Uh, okay, in, we have a bit of time. Let us yes. finish, let us finish it. Let us finish it. You know, do it with all your might. Is there if there is no area of life where you are completely invested let me say it in simple english if there is no area of life where you are pouring yourself into ah my brother my sister let's tell each other the truth hmm. you will die ordinary oh my god it's not a castle unless you change if, oh they, if they cannot associate your name with something that you are putting your whole life into. Oh my God. Without now. Oh my God. Go and check history. History is always a record of somebody who found an area of life where they did something with all their might. Like Esther said, if I perish, I perish. That's excellence. Ah, Dr. Sam. This thing has reached perishing. Yes. <laughs> it has. And I hope you get it. Yes. Because I want you to get it. Because of time. Oh my God. Remember this. Remember this. That last part of this scripture. Say for in the realm of the dead. Where you are going. Because all of us will die one day. There is neither working, nor plan, nor knowledge, nor wisdom. So if you are not putting in the work right now when you are alive, like the Bible reminds us, making the most of time, <laughs> because the days are evil. If you are not putting in the work right now, I'm afraid you're going to, you're going to die ordinary. Do something now with all all, all your might. Seven keys to excellence. Seven keys to excellence. Because of time, I'm going to run through it. Number one, find your one thing. What is your one thing? Listen, you may find it hard to be excellent in all things. But find your one thing. What is that one thing that you are going to put all your might into? All your heart into? All your soul into? Paul shared with us in Philippians chapter 3. He said, I may not have done a lot to I may not have reached it all. Remember, I told you it's not perfection. You don't have to reach perfection. Mm -mm. So, but this one thing I do, I do one thing. I forget all the things that is behind, and I put my effort, my energy into the one that is ahead of me. Excellent people are not moved by the things that has happened in the past. 
They are more concerned about what they have in front of them. What's your one thing? They don't meddle. They, they don't meddle in too many businesses. In fact, if there is one greatest secret that I think has helped me the most in life, is this top? Is this point number one that I'm showing? Hmm. If you want to be great in life, if you want to be excellent, please find your one thing. Not five things. Not 20 things. One thing. What is that area of life where you are gifted and you are called and you pour your life into it? You, 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 de you, you, be, you desire to be excellent in that area. Excellent people are known for one thing or very few things, not for a lot of things. How many things did we know Jesus for? We know him for the kingdom of God. Even the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything he did was for the kingdom of God. What is your own one thing? Hmm. Number two. Reject mediocrity at all costs. You know this state of accepting and just living life according to average standard, where you're just barely living, merely existing, you know, everything for you is passive, passive, you're never active, there's mm -hmm. nothing about it that stands you out, it's like you're living on comfort comfortable streets, <laughs> your address is there, that's your permanent address, you have never mm -hmm. changed address, you've been living on that comfortable street, you, have, you, have, you don't sign up for courses that shake you, there's mm. nothing about you that <sighs> see you may survive oh, living a mediocre life but you never thrive no that's the truth you may survive you will never you... stand out you will never stand out accepting to live an excellent life is a risk but you must take the risk you must you must don't be afraid of failing it's okay I, I did one one webinar recently, and to the glory of God, this is not. I'm not making a boast now. I mm. spent ten thousand dollars on the webinar. I spent, I spent four and a half, four and a half thousand dollars on ads, five thousand dollars on training for the ad, and the rest of the money on uh, paying for the systems and tools that that made me to do the webinar. My goal was to have 400 people attend the webinar. At the end of the day, only 18 people came. And I sold some stuff. Only two people bought the webinar. Only two people bought um, what I sold. They bought, um, uh, each was $2,000. Only two people bought it. Yes, naturally, listen, I was down. But am I going to do it again? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Why would I do it again? Because I am striving towards something. I am going towards something. I this is I just share with you. I don't normally share it in a in a in a free platform like this. But I don't know why God wants me to share it. I feel it's someone's deliverance. Yes. Somebody's listening to me. Right now. You've never risked anything in your life. You you it's always it has to be safe. That's why some people they're still in the same country. Whereas God has called you to move out since, but you are still, you just want to be safe. The doctor says, I don't know anybody there. Yes. So you remain there. You you yes. don't risk anything. Is not it's just that's mediocrity. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Looking back, looking back to it's, my life, I, I think that some of the things. I've experienced in the dimension of excellence. None of them was without a risk. You, you, Some of faith, them came with. You know faith, sir. More, when we say faith, is risk. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even with mockery. I mean, risking. Yes, yeah, so some people will be mocking you. Who are I you? Family, what do you know? Family members will tell you. Ah, you say you're traveling. Uh, you're, 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 you're going abroad to study. You got a scholarship. Who, who will give you money for scholarship? <laughs> Then I have a scholarship. You sure hmm. you have a scholarship? You know, it was until I like they won't it believe called. it until you graduate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm called with a foreign number. 
Wow. Ah, They're not going to believe you are God. This is real. <laughs> this is real. You know, but it was a risk. It was a risk. Somebody is totally listening to this. This is your deliverance. So please I totally agree don't with take you. it people like this. People are just talking. No, they are not talking. We, we, to the glory of God, we got to where we got to today. And even you listening to me, you may have gotten to where you got today because you took some risks. So why, yes. why stop now? Mm. You are going to, yes, you, and you will take some risk and you will fail. And it's okay. I remember when I got to New Zealand and got to, and I moved to New Zealand and the supervisor that was working with me, all of a sudden stopped, li stopped liking me. And they recommended me to fail. Literally recommended oh me God. to withdraw. Wow. Yes, it was a yes, tough yes, moment. Yes, I yes. cried, I wept, and all of that. But am I still weeping today? <laughs> but if I did not take that step today, then where do you think I would still be? I would still be where I was. <laughs> Hello, could it be the reason why you are still where you were five years ago and you're still in the same spot? I, there's so much we can talk about, but let's, because of time. Number three, invest in knowledge and understanding. You are sometimes only one information away from your next level. Wow. But if you don't invest in acquiring that information, you will die where you are. You are just one information away. There was a time God told Moses, says, tell these people to stop praying. Let them move forward. Literally, he told them. He said, tell, tell. can you imagine God saying, tell these people to stop crying to me. <laughs> In other words, to stop praying. Tell them to march forward. Some of you, you have attended vigils enough. You have prayed enough, but you are not moving forward. You are not investing in knowledge. Remember, if you have a $1 billion destiny, you must be willing to invest $1 billion in it. You must be, unless you don't believe in the destiny. The problem with our destiny is because it's always a and it's always a subject of faith. It is it is a risk. It is something you cannot see with your physical eyes. <laughs> no one at the Bible says eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It doesn't come to the heart of man what God had in store. So many people want you want to see it first before you invest in it. And sometimes God will be so benevolent and amazing; He will show you. But you will say, "Ah, that, 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 that's a dream. <laughs> it's just a dream. It's just a dream." <laughs> I want to see like this. Let them first of all, you know. I, I don't know. You know, I don't know. You are waiting for something to, to make you believe. Father, give me a sign. God said, but I've shown you a vision. You know, I wish we had more time. Let's move forward. All right. We will do a master class next. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about your exposure. How are you are you exposing yourself to information and understanding that comes through meditation and practice? Have you ever you are called to be a speaker. You are waiting to be invited before you start speaking. You cannot speak to your own mirror by yourself. I did it all. Before you see me, and they are inviting me to today. And, and they are calling me to countries and nations of the world to speak and preach. I was first of all speaking to the mirror by myself with myself in the room. Uh, you've never heard that story. Uh, <laughs> I was practicing extemporaneous speaking for months and months. Remember, excellence is doing publicly what you have been doing excellently in private. Please, don't forget these things. So. Let me shock you by one scripture. You know, I can't find the, the exact scripture, but it came to my mind now. I can't remember exactly where it is. Do you know that David that slew Goliath with a sling and a stone do you know that there is a certain tribe of the Benjamins in the Bible who were trained and skilled, trained and skilled in the slingshot? Yes. Every, the Bible referred to them. They were trained. They were people who practiced. And David that you just saw that came to Goliath because we never had the record that he used sling before. So some of us thought it was the angel that moved the stone and I'll move it into Goliath's head. Let me shock you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me shock you. It was not angel. It was consistent practice. We don't have time. Nothing should be too big 
or too expensive to invest in your future. Mm. If anything is too big or too expensive to invest in your future, you don't believe in that future and you don't deserve that future. Hmm. That's the truth. The Bible says a wise man we hear and we increase learning. A man of understanding we attain unto wise counsel. Number four, persistence and consistency. They are not the same words, but they, are, for, they follow each other everywhere. Persistence when, is when you continue to do something despite difficulties and challenges, and you just keep doing. You just keep doing. Come what me. Come what me you are doing. Come rain. Come shine. You are doing. You are there. You are persistent. You are there. You are showing up. You are showing up. And the other one is consistency, where you act the same way, excellently all the time. They invite you to speak, you give your best. They invite you to do something, you give your best. They are not paying you, you give your best. It's mm. not you are not waiting to be paid before you give your best. I don't, they don't even pay anything. It is where they are not paying you anything that they will see you and invite you for the one that they will pay you. Who paid David when when he was killing lion and bear? In fact, in my own in my own opinion, they just left that guy to die in the bush. But it was what he did when he was not being paid that led him to kill Goliath that he was paid for. And he became an in-law of the king. Ah. <laughs> the Bible's, um, John Maxwell said, persistence will help you get it, but consistency will help you keep it. Number five, sheer optimism or faith. Faith is the belief that there is always hope, that there is always silver line, a silver lining. That things will be better come what me. If you if you want to be excellent, you must have this mindset that things will get better. I just need to push. I just need to keep working. I just need to keep working hard. I cannot be paranoid. I must be optimistic. Forget all these things that they say. Some people, uh, you know, you must be optimistic. Only optimistic people break records. Wow. Have you ever seen somebody who got who got to the summit of a mountain and they are shocked that they got there? Have you ever seen anybody? No. That they were surprised. And they asked them, they said, how did you get there? Even me, I, even me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> there must, they must be optimism. There must, they must be faith. There must be belief. They, must be <laughs> they believe in what they have not attained and they continue to push. The Bible says in Hebrews 11 that these people, they are people who through faith and patience obtain. It, it must take a measure of optimism to keep going hmm. even when nothing proves hmm. you know, to, 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 to be there. Oh it's an all mark of excellent people. It's an all mark of greatness to have sheer optimism and faith in the face of difficulty. Ah, you may not be good today, but you must have faith that if you continue to work on yourself, you'll be better tomorrow. Hmm. 2022 may be looking somehow, but you must have faith and optimism that 2023 will be better if you continue to work Amen. on yourself. You must have faith. You cannot wait for somebody to come and believe in you. Because of time, number six. Remember I told hmm. you the other time that mediocrity is when you keep focusing on what you don't have at the expense of what you have. Because you have hmm. something. Don't understand, I don't have something. That's a lie. You have something. Every single person has something. You may not have money, but you have some, some value. David did not have money. David was not trained as an army. He was not trained as part of the army. Are you listening to me? First Samuel chapter 16, 17. David was not trained. He was recorded. He was just a young boy tending his father's sheep. He did not have the army training. He could have said, ah, okay, my brothers, I'll be praying for you because I'm not trained. Some of you, you are waiting to be trained to get started on, on that thing that God has given you an idea to start. Mm -hmm. I always find it very difficult to talk about God giving people vision. Because anytime I say God has given you a vision, some people are waiting for one angel to come. <laughs> My son. <laughs> That's what you are waiting for. Your vision are the ideas that you are getting. Ideas. Mm -hmm. Anytime you ever hear your pastor or you hear a speaker or a preacher say uh, the visions that God has given to you. Can, can I shock you? Can I break it down? They are your ideas. That idea you get in the shower and you say, ah, somebody is already doing it. I'm sure they'll be doing it already. I'm sure somebody is doing it in right now. There's no need to, to even bother. That, that, that's your vision that you are throwing away. That idea that you get when you are taking a walk and you're on the bus or you're on the, or you're driving and you, you that's the vision of God that you're trampling on that photo. 
Wow. So serve with it and do something about it. Wow. I wrote on this slide, our rewards in life are in exact proportion as our contribution and service. If you are not contributing anything to life, you don't deserve anything in life. You notice deserve, all right? There's a root word there, serve. You don't deserve anything until you have served. Hmm. Excellence. Anybody will be excellent at something. You know why this is so important? Why service is so important for excellence? Because you don't become good at anything at the start. It's not when they start paying you that you become good. It is when you are doing it, when you are serving it with no 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 compensation, no manipulation, no. <laughs> you know that is when that's where excellence starts. Oh. Some people are waiting for them to start paying you for the excellence. No, start serving what you have now. Yeah. Start serving what you have. The Bible start wrote about David that he served his own generation. Are you serving your generation? Lastly, surround yourself with people of excellence. You must have been told that you are a reflection of the people you surround yourself with. So if you want to be excellent, you better find excellent people. Ah, that this this small little thing there that I this last point is one of my secrets. So I don't mean I don't be a, I, I'm not a friend of mediocre. You never see me call a mediocre my friend. Mm -mm. Go and check, go and look at my Instagram, my social media. Any people, anybody you see that I say, oh, my friend, ah, that person is excellent, is excellent at something. Hmm. I don't call mediocre as my friend, they are not my no. friend. That's why I make time for excellent people. I call them, they call me, we call each other. And I, because I know that they too, they are also trying to keep excellent people in their life. I have to be excellent too. Hmm. Yes. Yes. So I'm, I'm also growing so that when we talk on the phone and we are playing or when we meet for holiday and we meet for meetings, I'm, well, the things I say, they are excellent. The, the, I'm, I'm, I, it's not the same thing I said yesterday that I'm saying today. I'm growing and imp I'm improving. You invite me to speak two, two, uh, 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 two months ago. By the time I come to you this month, it's something different. It's something hot. It's something raw. It's something... You, you, you get what I'm trying to say? That's how you, you keep excellent people in your life because you too, you are excellent. Study the life of excellent people. Emulate them. Follow them. And you too will be excellent. Okay, I had to cut off a few slides, but... You know, we are right. We got there <laughs> in the end. <Wow. laughs> That's why I did not plan to share that seven signs that you said for a medical because wow. I knew it would take time because I was so passionate about it. But I hope somebody you've listened to this and you have been inspired, you have been blessed. I want to plead with you that you make the most of what you have heard and what you have learned today. Don't joke with it. Let it mix with faith in your heart. And I want to give you an assignment because I'm a lecturer and I always give assignments. I want you to write down three steps you are going to take. All these seven things that I've shared right now, you may not be able to do all these seven things at once. Okay? Write down three things that you are going to do of out of the seven things and you're going to start now. So maybe your own right now, you're going to be on the chase to finding your one thing. Maybe your own is, you are going to determine that medio, you are going to put it as part of your core values. Anywhere there is mediocrity, anything in mediocrity, you, your hand will not be there. You never be a mediocre mm. in anything. Maybe your mm. own is that you are going to invest in your future. Maybe your own is that you are going to begin to develop, share optimism. Whatever yours is, you are going to write down your own three things. Yeah. Maybe your own is you now begin to now go audit all your friends. <laughs> and if none of them is excellent, eh, psh, you know, you are the CEO of your life. You can fire and hire at will. Yeah. And then you now start to become intentional about making friends that are excellent. All those friends that are always telling you, you can never do it. It's not possible. You, you, you think, cut them off. And begin to become intentional. But we don't have time. Dr. Omidi, thank well, you so much for the privilege and the opportunity to be a blessing. Really thank appreciate you so it. much, sir. Let me stop sharing. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so, so very much. This is, this is so powerful. And, you know, 
several times I've had, I don't know, sometimes I get a leading to do things like this. Success mm. convert that we do every month. We prayed and we, we know, we felt that, okay, this is what we should do. Mm. And for every single session we had, it was as if it's me, it's for me. Wow, wow. So, mm. and it, it inspires me a lot because sometimes it's like you, 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 you're trying to pull people to come mm-hmm. and hear the rest mm-hmm. or pull people to come and receive, but you don't know that whatever it is that you're trying mm. to get people to come and get is actually- You are a false party. <laughs> Mm. For you. So deep inside, I've, I, I mean, Life Excel. The vision of Life Excel is to raise a generation of excellent people, and for as long as we have existed, we've been teaching excellence. Mm. We have seen people who have come in contact with what we're doing have their life transformed. Testimonies, like mm. real testimonies of people saying. It was like Excel that changed my life. I never knew I wow. could make a first class. Wow. I mean, people who didn't know that they could even graduate, make wow. it for first Praise class. God. Praise God. But do you know, sir, some of the things you have shared today, it's like I have never wow. heard them before. Wow. It's like I've never, I've never seen excellence from... Some of the dimensions that you brought tonight. Praise God. Praise so I really, really, really want to thank you. I really, really, really want to Jesus. want to appreciate you for everything that you said. And I'm going to take this as a resource for myself mm. and sit on it as I begin to plan and prepare for 20. Because we're we're asking ourselves, what are we going to make the team of mm. This confirmed it took us time. Like the, in the team, we were just waiting and waiting and hoping that we'll get a direction. And then one of the days I just felt repositioning for excellence, mm. preparing yourself to be in a position to excel yes. in the I just posted it to them. I said, This is the team. For, it's God. <laughs> for, and that is exactly what is happening. Mm. I'm going Please. into 2023 with a new mindset. A yes, sir. Mindset. A new mindset. And mm. perspective of what excellence is, is, I mean, the kind of excellence I want to see in every area of my life. So I really, really want to thank you. I really want to appreciate you. And I pray that God will bless you and continue Amen. to increase you Amen. in wisdom and in Amen. everything Amen. that you are doing. I believe Amen. that God is yet to, to show you, Amen. you know, um, himself Amen. in all dimensions of your work. I believe so. Amen. I continue to see um, his hand Amen. over you. We're yeah. supposed to take some questions. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if if we should do that, but we should just go and start thinking of... <laughs> thinking of what we have heard. <laughs> what we've heard. Because a lot has been said already. Mm. A lot has been said already, and I really want to appreciate it. So I'll just wait for one minute. Okay, sir. Not more than one minute. If there is any question, first question, we'll just take it okay, and we'll move on from there. But if there is none, I'll move to the next thing okay, which I have here. So um, if you're joining us, I, I want you to, to really, really, I don't know if it is to give Dr. Sam a virtual hand clap. Glory to God. Or Glory whatever it is that you can do to appreciate Dr. Sam. <laughs> Glory to uh, Jesus. Join me to thank him. Join me Glory to bless to him. Join me to ask God to continue to increase him. Amen. And as you do that, if you have a question, can you just drop it in the comment? And I'll just wait for one minute. At the end of one minute, if I don't find any question, we will move on to the next thing. Praise God. Yeah. Well, we, have to, we have to do a master class um, yes um because w- one of the things that i don't like is you know when 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 there's so much that one could pour into people and yeah. there's not enough time you know yeah. um uh it, it makes you feel like ah you know <laughs> sincerely before before man and god i've mm-hmm. been thinking of a master class for general oh praise god praise so god. when you mentioned we have to do a master class it was like okay this is 
Yes, yes. Where we will like sit that. down, yeah. you know, maybe on Zoom, where people can also respond. Can yes, we can use. Yeah, exactly. We have we amazing. have Zoom. We have other platform as well that people. Can yes, let's do it in 2023, sir. Let's do it. I believe people at Life Excel will be grateful. It will, yeah. it would, it will, it would really help them. Yeah, we will do that. We'll do yes. that. Thank you very much. Praise God. So our one minute has gone, I think. And uh, yes, I can see Ifani has already done his assignment. <laughs> I put it there. <laughs> Ifani said, I Great. will get my at all costs. I will invest yeah. in knowledge and understand. I will surround myself. I like that. Those are his top three that he's going to get onto right now. That's amazing. That's awesome. Ifani is a like. good student. Ifani wow. is one of one of my students in Scholarship Mastery Academy. Amazing, amazing. He is working hard to be an excellent person, and well, I, I believe with him that with the, that thing he is looking for, he will get it. Amen. Um, uh, bro, bro, bro. Amen. I can Amen. see that is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see Aroja additional as well. I see Akowe Rachel gift. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Thank you well very done. much. Yes, sir. So, so, in the absence of any question, yes, you've given us an assignment. I've written down mine here, and I'm going to work on it. Yes, sir. Um, and I believe everybody will do that as well. So, I want to encourage everybody in Life Excel, and if you're going to have a replay of this video, to you know, make sure that you take that home and work on it. It might be the secret to the kind of excellence you want to experience in 2023. Just you know heading to this assignment. It might be, uh, it, it might sound like a simple thing to do, okay? Yeah. Um, Dr. Sam just said it. Write down the three things you want to do and you don't go them after them. But I want you to look at it from a perspective that it is God that is giving you mm. an option that can transform your life. Mm. Mm. Approach it from that perspective and it will mm. transform your life, really. So Dr. Sam, yes, how sir. can people find you Okay, sir. Um, How can people find you? Yes, what are the things you have that people can be part of to become, mm. you know, excellent in whatever it is that they are doing? So can you share with us how can people find you? How can people find your, your services, your products, whatever okay, it is sir. that you have? Uh, praise God. Good. Thank you, sir, for this opportunity. The first one I want to share is a free one because I know a lot of people like free things <laughs> and they are looking for free, free. So there is a free book that I want to give to every single person at Live Excel or, mm -hmm. or everyone that has joined us on this conference today. Yes. Um, and if you go on to samuelekundao.com slash books and you scroll down, samuelekundao.com slash books, there is a free book. The title is um uh, uh the world needs you life-changing secrets to becoming a person of value uh that's the title of the book so if you scroll down you find it on the maybe the fourth one down and samuelakundao.com slash books samuelakundao.com slash books yeah. um and you can download your copy it's pdf so you it will be it will be sent to your email and what's the title again sir okay samuelakundao.com slash books the, the title, title is The World Needs You. The World Needs You. Life-Changing Secrets to Becoming a Person of Value. Life. Life-Changing Secrets to Becoming a Person of Value. Uh, in fact, I can actually share my screen. Let me see if I can share my screen. Uh, yeah, this one. Uh, yeah, this one. So this book here, this one. It's free, completely free. Um, so you can grab your copy now. It's free, entirely free. No, no hidden. You're not buying anything, <laughs> you know, but I'm giving it to you for free because inside you, of this bro. book, I shared some secrets with you, um, you know, that can help you literally become more excellent, like Dr. Mm. Midi said, right? Mm. And this one is free. So if you are, if you are still at that level of free, <laughs> where everything you're looking for is free, this one has... <laughs> Let's start from there. But if you want to invest in your future, I will yes. recommend these books. All right. The, all these books here. You can, can get them on Amazon. You can get them at Roving Heights in Nigeria. If you're in Nigeria, um, you know, Purpose in Crisis, um, Your Problems, You're Multi-Talented, Getting Mentorship Right. This one is my, is my best-selling book. To the glory mm. of God, we sell hundreds of copies every month. 
uh, uh, to the glory of God is, is my best selling. And this one too, these two are my best selling books so far. Um, if you follow me on social media, you see them on bestseller lists from time to time, um, mm. to the glory of God. Um, purpose in Christ. If you haven't discovered your purpose, get onto that. I also have a free resource for you and applications are even open right now. Um, if you go to spinuniversity.org, if you haven't discovered your purpose yet, you know that one thing that I mentioned, your one thing? Aha. Uh -huh. If you haven't found your one thing and you want to find your one thing, go to spinuniversity.org spin right now and you can apply. Hmm. Okay. Um, it's This is a not a joko. This is a real school. 15 weeks intensive course. Wow. <laughs> to help you discover your purpose inside of it there's coaching there's mentoring there are lectures there there are all all sort of things okay? and it's free and it's free <laughs> oh my God. so you know you are, uh, kind. You are too kind sir you are really, really kind. <laughs> It is free because God said we should make it free, even though there's wow. so much investment in it, thousands of dollars into it. But you know, this is what so if you're if you are saying, ah, 2023, I must find my one thing, I must discover my purpose, and you don't know how, God has answered your prayer, and you have mm. no excuse because it is free. Yes. Okay. The only thing is, are you going to be committed to the 15 weeks? Mm. That's the only that's the, you that's the question you should ask yourself. Okay, so go on to spinuniversity.org. All you need to do, you can read about the whole stuff. But when you click on apply now, you'll be able to apply uh, um, for the course. And um, please, when you apply, apply very well. Mm. Okay, because we decline people. We have thousands <laughs> of applications, but we still decline people. Yeah. <laughs> The fact that it is free does not mean you will get in. You may not get in. Yeah. If, it, if it doesn't show that you are committed, you are serious, will you not get in? So I've given you two free resources now. Hmm. All right. Uh, but my book, uh, my books, you can buy them. Another thing that you may be interested in is my coaching. So if somebody is watching this uh, now or maybe later and you're saying, ah, Dr. Sam, hmm, that 2023, I, I must get it right and I want coaching with you. You can either book a 60 minutes client session with me and we'll talk or mm -hmm. you uh, apply for my six months coaching or 12 months coaching where we where we help you build an excellent life, a purposeful life mm -hmm. um, by the grace of God. All right. So you can find out more samuelekunda.com slash coaching. That is how to find out more about that. Um, there is something that we are working on. We're almost done. Uh, mm -hmm. Tidying up 90 days of uh uh a uh, 90 days mastermind um wow. and so i don't have it yet but from 1st of january to literally uh, march. uh, uh 30 days uh that's end of march right okay 90 days and i'll be showing up once a week everybody will be in a facebook group and the goal is to help you start 2023 right and start with a mindset of growth okay mm. it is it is something that god wants me to do it's not free and we haven't, I haven't even put a price on it yet i'm still mm, actually yeah, yeah <laughs> because i want it to be really available uh, affordable for some students as well some young people so that's my heart i have a strong heart for young people um mm. so watch out for that uh if you follow me on social media at dr sam ekundayo whether it's on instagram on facebook on uh twitter you find out you you get even on uh what's it called linkedin linkedin.com slash dr sam ekundayo that's dr sam ekundayo dr sam ekundayo so that's it that's it from me sir thank you so much for this great privilege and opportunity i do not take it for granted and of course i want to talk about my inner circle inner circle my inner circle, i have an inner circle uh of coaches speakers and mentors Coaches, speakers, mentors, consultants. So if you're a speaker and you're looking for, remember, surround yourself with excellent people. You are looking for excellent people to surround yourself with. You should come to my inner circle. So if you go to samuelekundar.com slash inner circle, samuelekundar.com slash inner circle, you will be able to connect with us there. God bless you. That's it, sir. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Samuelekundar.com is the website. Yes, that's the, the website. Book. For the book, samuelekundayo.com slash books. Books, yes, sir. For the coaching, samuelekundayo.com slash coaching. coaching. And yes. for the inner circle, is samuelekundayo.com slash inner circle. And the 90-day program.
program, I believe, will be available. Yeah, it will be out soon. On yeah, some, so on some the, the platform. So uh, I, I'll encourage you to head on to Dr. Sam's platform and follow him. You will not regret it. Um, oh, that is 101% sure that you will not regret it. If there is one person you should follow, you it should be Dr. Sam Ikundaya. So Dr. Sam Ikundaya uh, wrote the um, preface for my book. <laughs> for my book, um, that was in 2018. Wow. Unstoppable you. I'm sure that maybe he may have forgotten. <laughs> and uh, I haven't promoted that book very well because it was it was a book that helped me to navigate a certain period mm. of my life, working with Coach Sam, Sam uh, Obafemi. Uh, so we were working together then, trying to navigate some things, and that resulted to that book. Mm. But yes, I I I I am coming back. <laughs> so I really, 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 really want to appreciate you, Dr. Uh, Sam. Glory to God. A, 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 a support for a very long time. Glory to um, Jesus. Even though we have not met in person. Yeah, so and you're yeah. in Australia there. Yeah. <laughs> Very soon. <useful. laughs> we will come to New Zealand. We will Amen. try to be the first to, to, to come to New Amen. Zealand. Yeah. Amen. So, really, thank you very much, sir. Um, thank you. I, I can release you now if you All right, feel sir. like um, going um, to attend to um, any other thing that you have for the weekend. I, I wish you a very good weekend and uh, you, pray sir. that God will continue to bless you. Amen. Thank you very much. Thank you so, so much. Guys, thank you everyone for joining. Um, we are continuing with the second session in the morning, Saturday morning by 9 a.m. 9 a.m. We're coming back here to continue with the rest of the session. Um, we're going to have Dr. Michael Akin Labi all the way from the United Kingdom. If you've been impacted by this session, I can guarantee you that the next session will be a top up on that. You're going to receive an insight or a series of insights that will be transformational to you, help you to your position for excellence in 2023. So I want to encourage you to come back. Um, so this channel as well, uh, we'll push out the, the links again uh, in, in the groups and on Facebook and through uh, the newsletter if you subscribed um, to the newsletter. Uh, so you'll get the link as well. But if you don't get it, just come back to this same channel that you are on now and you will have access to the session. So I look forward to seeing you um, Saturday morning, Nigerian time, 9 a.m. It will be about 7 p.m. my time here in Australia. And um, we'll have a great time together. So thank you very much. And God bless you. And I'll see you shortly. Bye.